In tonight's segment, too, social networking sites are changing the way the world communicates. And while there are definite dangers involved, 2 News anchor Dina Silk reveals some of the positive way that users are logging in. Facebook, MySpace, Twitter. Odds are you're signed up with at least one of these sites or know someone who is. While most of us use it as a tool to stay connected, some are profiting with a simple status update. At 12 years old, Grace and Chance of Edmond never imagined a simple song uploaded to his Facebook page and YouTube would change his life forever. He inspired me to start a record label called 1111. He is my first artist when we're making a record together. Of course, Grayson's story is not a common one, but thanks to social networking sites, success stories on a smaller scale can be found almost anywhere. On oh, three, bacon cheese Hallie. Even at the local burger joint. Fat Guy's Burger Bar started serving customers in downtown Tulsa in April. First on the menu. Facebook was the first thing because it was it was free. Even before building a website, owner Chris Dodge set up a Facebook page. It definitely brings more business. Up, Curtis. Mary Spears and her family stopped in after she saw a picture on Facebook. One of my friends um, posted a picture of their Thai style peanut butter bacon burger. I've never even heard of this place, so I googled it and we came today. And that's what we got. Social networking can also be found in some of the most unassuming places. I can't picture, you know, day-to-day -day operation here without Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. At the Humane Society of Tulsa, Kylie Roberson says a simple status update means more adoptions and donations. We'll send out, you know, a message that, hey, you know, we have naked cats without collars. And within hours, the bin is full of donated collars, whereas in years past, before social networking sites... You would have had to do, like, a, a drive. You would have had to put out boxes at stores or, you know, some way to get people to realize that you're in need of something. Sometimes... <laughs> All that's needed is a voice. Back in May, we told you about a group of students at Edison Preparatory School using Facebook to try and save teacher jobs. We're trying to get our voices heard and we're trying to like, get our message out there that we're not going to take this. We want them here and we need them here, so keep them. After weeks of online support and a finalized state budget, the fight paid off. One, two, ready, go. Band teacher Nathan Greenwood's job was saved. I was overwhelmed by it. My family is just really, really touched. Um, I'm not prone to crying, but it almost. <laughs> so while some of you may be ready for the social networking craze to end, others are just getting started. My grandmother that is almost 90 years old and lives in Kansas is on it. Realizing a few keystrokes can change the way the world communicates. Modern day technology is amazing. Dina Silk, 2 News works for you.